hey guys welcome back to another video so today i will be sharing how to create a colorful floral composition now the first step that i like to do is to decide on the different floral elements that i want to add in my floral composition and then i decide the placement or the arrangement of different floral elements all together so here I am drawing the different florals and leaves that I will be adding in the composition. You can draw along with me and I am using my Pigma Micron fine liner pen and Canson 180 GSM paper for this. You can check out these details in the description box. Now doing this step beforehand really helps you in creating a composition and I always try to do that. You can of course add different florals and leaves as per your choice and can also change or remove them if any of the floral element doesn't fit in your composition but this step really gives you a basic guideline or idea on how to start making a composition. Now after deciding on to the different floral elements, I am here using a pencil and I am drawing some circles where I will be placing the flowers. So I have drawn the big circle and small ones and this one is overlapping the big circle. So like this you can create a possible arrangement beforehand and now I am drawing those flowers in these circles which I feel will look more suitable in this arrangement. So right now I am just adding only those floral elements that I have already decided but as I said you can of course remove or change any of the floral element that you feel will look more suitable in your arrangement. You can of course increase the count of the elements that you have decided like here I am adding the big leaves wherever I feel will look more suitable in this arrangement. So I have done with my pencil work and now I am using Pigma fine liner pen and I am running it over my pencil work.
Now I'm using a small nib size fine liner pen to make the center and to add details in my flowers and leaves. So I was not having the Pigma fine liner pen in the smallest nib size. So I'm using the Marvi one, which is also really nice. So you can either add some small circles in the center of the flower or you can just keep the center completely black. It totally depends upon your choice. And now I'm adding some shading details in the flowers and leaves that really makes your design look more beautiful. Now for coloring, I am using the mix of Tombow and Koi brush pens and instead of using a single color in the flower, I am here doing the blending of two different contrasting shades together. Like for this big daisy flower, I am blending the tips of yellow and brownish shade together so that the flower will have a nice shading effect. So you just need to touch the tips of two contrasting brush pens together for a while and you will have a nice blending effect. Just make sure to choose the lighter and darker shades of the same color family.
that's it for today's video i really hope you find today's video useful and would love to give this a try if you do then please don't forget to like and share this with your friends and also subscribe to my channel for more such interesting videos and i'll see you soon in my next video till then take care bye bye